Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. It's finally here. What welders and fornicators and home shop machinists of all creeds and colors have been waiting for. That's right. We're not doing the Metabo. We have a 60 volt flex volt uh, grind air. Apologize, I just about tripped over my wallet after seeing this at the local homeless desk spot. I done tried to buy this online from the USNA, of course, but throwing my wallet at the screen didn't help any. But because this is 60 volts, that's just plain science. 60, 20, 60, 20, 60, 20, 60, 20. Hypotenuse confirmed. 60 is more better. Shit is fucking happening. We got no time for dicking around except for maybe just this one little thing. But I'm not gonna take this A part right away. We're gonna test this with the other things because I do have a cordless grinder, but it's anemic. I was wondering if these are actually powerful enough to do some proper work. Before we get into that, I'm gonna show you a trick. That might work, might not work. If it doesn't work, you'll never fucking see this. Now that's a fair chunk of lithium ion battery technology. But, holy fuck. In the words of my favorite contemporary mixed media artist, oh, what the fuck? Why? Why? Why you make me read? Nah, yeah, fucking useless. Release your goodness to me. <sighs> Nurse, bearing splitter, strong back, 110. Porta power cylinder. Stat. Again. What the fuck? What am I missing? Is there something wrong with me? Don't answer that. Oh, for fuck snacks. Why you no come? <sighs> this is clearly a job for my superpower. Beers. Guys ask me why I drink this skunky ass beer, and I'll tell you why. It's all about maintaining that toughness groove. I once heard a Marine talk about this. You know, he gets up, takes a cold shower, every ice cold shower every morning in order to, to keep that toughness groove, to keep it just a little edge. You know, so when he's got to do something, something nasty, his brain's ready for a little bit of pain. That's what I do. Uh, that's why I, I prefer this over, say, butt wiper simulated rice wine beverage. It's the toughness groove. It's disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, am I a complete idiot? <laughs> Holy oh fuck. Toughness groove. Toughness groove, boys. Okay, we're gonna charge that up. Cooling fans on. Now, I also bought a spare, 199 Canadian pesos, son of a, plus 87% tax we pay here. It's jeezless, it's a wonder I can't afford proper beer. Now, the thing is, they're trying to give you a little cookie, you know, sort of kiss me before you fuck me type deal. So they're giving these away free if and you buy a, a $400 grind air kit. Yeah, 400 bucks, that's Canadian pesos mine, so that's maybe 25 American dollars, something like that. Brightest banana in the bunch right there. Hey, it's not polite to make fun of people with disabilities. I'm a Canadian. Let's just give her a check here. Yeah, two. They save money at the factory by not completely charging them. There's a lot, yeah. Every little penny counts, apparently. I'll just see here. Battery neg, battery pause. What the fuck? Oh, the fancy. Look at that. Life is hard. Especially when you're a dumbass. Holy fuck, why? What is going on? Oh man, 18 volts. So that means... That means that there's some electronic switching in here. Unfortunately, these are not set up as we saw. These are not set up right off the bat for 60 volts. There's some internal switching here that takes the, the 
ganged up batteries and uh, series and parallels them. So what's happening now is they're 20 volts. We have these naturally paralleled up into three banks of 20. So we get more amps out of it, less volts. However, when you want 60 volts, what it does is it series up all these four volt cells. That's how you get 60 volts. So we need to either reverse engineer this and hack it into tricking it to give us 60 volts. And you see there's three terminals there. One will be, well, C2, so yeah, there's a bunch of stuff there. So that's fairly involved. Uh, we're going to skip ahead and I'll show you what the idea is. Okay, we're done with the foreplay. We're into the meat of it. This setup here is 60 volts DC, okay, direct current. Same as this, if we could get this thing to choo choo to be 60 volts as well. We have here a corded, corded drill, 120 volt corded drill. The plug is hooked up to the positive and the negative of the battery. And then these three batteries are seriesed up so that they're 20 volts, goes to 40 volts, goes to 60 volts. Contact. Here we have 120 volt AC drill running on DC batteries. Fucking mind blowing, I know, it gets better. I hope even the most jaded amongst us can see how awesome this is to be able to run a corded tool off batteries. So that's the idea, but it gets even deeper. Heavy corded tools, I'm talking mag drills, I'm talking contractor saws, routers, chop saws, they pop the breaker all the fucking time, especially if you're actually on a job site and you got one of these big, long, tiny wired, 100 foot extension cords, you know, that's maybe 22 gauge or whatever. There's too much voltage drop in that conductor to actually let the tool run and it needs to draw the same amount of power. If it has less voltage, that means it has to draw more amps. More amps pops the breaker. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We, collectively, the guys that get together for a laugh in the shop, are going to design a turbocharger for corded tools. And what that is entailing is injecting DC voltage into AC tools while being plugged into the wall. So essentially, you're gonna be running on AC power from the wall until it bogs down or on startup, because that's when you always trip the breaker. On startup, we're going to inject some of the current from the batteries in order to get over the hump so you never ever trip a breaker. Then while you're just running along in normal operation, the batteries start to recharge. I'd really appreciate it if you took a little time to think about this idea. A turbocharger for corded tools also makes all corded tools cordless. Just think about that. Put some ideas down in the doobly-doo, whatever comes to you. We, uh, remember, I've been poking the internet box with a stick here for nigh on three years. We got a quarter million guys, highly technical, uh, smart, smart people involved. Also, we got the funding. We, there's money there to do this sort of thing. And most importantly, we can do some awesome, awesome stuff just through the power of the internet. I mean, how cool would that be to make something and not open source it, but make it open to everybody because we don't want any open source douchebags around. Let's make something that people can build that's friggin' awesome. Reduce world suck, you know what I'm saying? It sucks when you're working away and your breaker trips. You gotta walk all the way down to the panel, flick it back on. Let's make this thing happen. Cheers to you, lads. The boys that get shit done. Give your dick an advice.